Here I demonstrate XYZ Quadrant app which has been extended to extract coordinate for multiple categories. There is number of categories available here. Basically all the model elements. These actually came from here. All these categories are available there. From the list, select the category you wanted to extract on it. Um, there is a limitation, not all of the categories can be can extract XYZ coordinate. For example, this one here, if you run that, it won't work. So, there are a number of categories I checked with, like doors, windows, uh, basically, all the model elements. So in this model I have doors. So there are 30 doors in this project. We run that set and windows windows um, structure columns. Structure columns. Let's check the window. So there is these are the parameters which has been added to the property of this window and the coordinate of the from that window location has been added to that parameters. <coughs> so these are the parameters added and then the location where that window is that coding has been added to that one. Let's check the door. Similarly to the door as well. Here is another family which is a chair which we haven't done it so just gonna do that now. comes under furniture furniture and 137 chairs in there <coughs> so let's check that so let's inspect them for example that chair there has been added so this coordinate actually is from the center of that family. So let's look at the family. So it's been that point there. So that's a value which is coming up there. <coughs> Every time you, when you relocate this element, you have to rerun the app to update the values because this is just a shared parameter value sitting there. And then every time you run the app, that value has been up, will be updated. This share parameters here, please don't update anything. Don't try to add anything to it at all. If you have selected multiple categories and you know they all will be added here. So for example this window there, 
and punish their uh, doors there so that that will load that program particularly by the software thank you